If you guys clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what can the human body do three days without food? Stay tuned to find out more. Bow, bow. Yo, what is happening? What is good? What is Gucci fam? What is up? It's me, Malingi, aka Ling Ling, aka MJ. And welcome back to another Gucci video. And you know what? Before we even say anything, excuse the bed here. Like, literally, I just got out of bed not long ago um, and I have to go to work so <laughs> I'm trying to shoot this um, in a good amount of time and yeah excuse me for that I've been really busy lately but I will be having more time um, to to make these videos if you guys clicked on this video then you're probably wondering oh this guy didn't eat for three days so yeah basically I'm gonna go through with you guys probably shoot an actual intro um, but I wanted to just record this because day one, so I started my water fast on Monday, which was yesterday. So my water fast began on, oh, it began on Sunday. So the last time I ate was around 7 p.m. on Sunday. So right now it's been over 36 hours. Oh, it's been over 40 hours now since I've um, eaten a solid meal. Basically what I'm going to be consuming for the next two days is water and water only. Reason being is because last week I had a little kerfuffle with my diet. Uh, now last week I decided to treat myself, um, especially on the weekend. <coughs> I decided to treat myself uh, to um, some carbs. Yeah, I decided to treat myself to some carbs. And uh, basically, that's still in my system. A lot of salty. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think your boy's got the allergies. Yesterday, I weighed in at around 120.8 kilos. So that was almost around three kilos up from the, from the weekend because the weekend I was at 118. Point, uh, two kilos and yeah I basically almost gained like three kilos just from like the carbs the um, the water weight because carbs holds on to water a lot more than fat does and salt a lot of salty food as well so all of that combination yeah you're gonna get like a three kilo weight gain uh, which is temporary that's why I decided to go on this three-day fast because I wanted my body to utilize all of that junk that I ate on the weekend um, because you'd be shocked at how much food is stuck in your body and, and, and it just stays there and that's the problem because if it just stays there then this will just stay there this will just stay there every all the fat will just stay there. the first day uh, I had no signs of energy reduction uh, no signs of hunger you know uh, probably it's it was probably just like the mental part of it like I did want to eat um, I did want to eat when I was with when I was on break with my co-workers and that's because I just wanted to eat the food looked nice it smelled nice and I, I just thought it would be nice to to eat um, but I wasn't hungry So this is day two of my fasting and day two has been completed. So um, it has been 48 hours since I've eaten, eaten? It's been 48 hours since I've eaten anything. Um, so do I feel any energy loss? So comparing from yesterday, I felt even after at the end of the day of day one of my fast, I still feel a bit bloated. Um, I knew that my body hadn't gone completely into ketosis yet in producing ketones and also not using up um not tapping into my glucose it sounds weird but i you, i just know when it's using it okay and i know when there's something still in my system that needs to be out i just know and i feel like people know too like you just know that there's something in there like it may be a piece of shit just floating around in your rectum or whatever i know too much information 
but it could be that okay it could be anything that's still in there i still feel like i have maybe just a little bit of stuff in my system that i still need to get out um it might be just retained water because i had a lot of sodium over the weekend and um yeah and and carbs as well and they hold a lot of water on day two as you guys saw earlier just then i felt a lot better I definitely did. I woke up, I weighed in around 118.87. I forgot, y'all remember, but uh, <laughs> um, I weighed in right now at the end of the day. I still, I do uh, for my fasts, I do a morning weigh in and a night weigh in um, simply because I want to see the difference, even though I still have water weight within me because I drink water out throughout the day. Um, I still like to monitor my results at night time because I do eventually end up being lighter at night time and my results right now speak for itself. Um, I lost 600 grams, no, I didn't lose. Okay, I weighed in on the scale today, at, um, tonight at around 118.2. And look, I'm gonna tell you guys a real story, like real quick, right? The last time I was down at 118, I was down at 118.5. I could never break 118. No matter how hard I tried, I tried breaking 118. And I call it the 118 curse because I've never seen anything under 118. I haven't seen 117 in a long time. Okay, it's been so long since I've seen 118, uh, 117, let alone any numbers under that. Okay, so I'm going to break this curse and I'm going to break it this week. Okay, we're going to break this, guys. We're going to... We're gonna F shit up, okay? Like, this is it. This is gonna be it. Now, I do apologize for the delay of the video, guys. I know I usually post on Tuesdays, but um, I had a lot of stuff going on. <clears throat> Just a lot of work. But I do have more time off of work so I can focus on more things and better things, right? So, with that being said, I will be uploading this video on Thursday. So, what... What do I feel like? So on the second day, here are the benefits. You get increased energy, you have increased focus, um, you do not feel hungry. That is something that I don't that didn't feel throughout the day. I didn't feel hungry at all. Um, and you, because you have a sharp mind, there's like less stress. So those four things that I could just list right off the top of my head, like have made my day that much better. And I do recommend fasting to everyone besides people who have health conditions and also people who are pregnant or breastfeeding. People, I mean females. Females who are breastfeeding or pregnant. Do not fast, you know, matter, okay? I just feel so much better now um, I de than I definitely did on Sunday uh, and especially on Saturday night. I did drink some alcohol. Um, it had been months since I've drank alcohol and let's just say that I um, <clears throat> let's just say that I didn't like it <laughs> in fact I hated it like I felt like absolute crap and then I remembered why I don't drink alcohol in the first place I'm too old for this stuff man I'm only 22 you know last year was just too much too much alcohol in my system too much bad stuff, let's just say, in my system last year. It was too much bad stuff, and um, this year, my body's definitely going through like this entire cleanse. My body's probably wondering like, boy, make up your mind. Do you want to be like real junk, or do you want to be like real healthy? Like, make up your mind for, ooh, somebody liked me on Tinder. Ooh. <laughs> Alrighty. So it is day three. We are now at the end of our fast, actually. I, this, it's 11 o'clock, um, 11 p.m. So I haven't eaten since Sunday. Um, I think it was like 9 p.m. on Sunday since I ate. Um, oh no, it was a bit earlier than that. But it's been, it's, sin, it's been since Sunday and we have now reached to the end of the day and it is Wednesday. So. If you guys are probably wondering, I'm gonna let you guys know that um, do I still do I feel any loss of energy? 
I say no and a little bit of yes. Now the reason why I say no is because I still feel like I have the same amount of energy that I do almost the same amount with food. Um, but the reason why I say no is because uh, today was a strenuous day at work. Most of my mind today was thinking about like other things, okay? And that's that for me is like a really good thing I should be focusing on what's at hand. And I was literally focusing on like what I'm going to eat or what I feel like eating um, because my mind was like, well, you know, you need to eat. But my body was like, you're fine, you know? And I'm still fine. Like I'm, I could break my fast like right now, like literally on the 72 hour mark but I'm not going to. I will probably break my fast tomorrow. It's day three. Day three? No, it's day four. So it is now, um, yeah, I've now completed my fast. Actually, I've completed more than that. I've um, pushed it till, I am currently sitting on, 80 hours right now, 84 hours. It's been 84 hours since I've consumed. Let me, let me send this camera down to talk to you guys. It's been 84 hours since I've eaten something and am I hungry? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> right, so. Currently our power's off, fine. I put it on my video. Wait, I need them. I definitely recommend you guys to do some fasting, especially if you've had like a treat day. Where? Oh, hi, Blackie. Is this where you come and stay? Is this where you come and stay? Huh? Ready guys, so this is what I'm going to be breaking my fast with. Unfortunately, because my power is off, um, I have to make do with what's been here already. So I have here some charcoal chicken. Can't go wrong with some charcoal chicken. Um, I have an avocado sandwich with keto bread. Um, couldn't be bothered spreading it on. I also have some pickles here and a little bit of garlic sauce. So this is what I'm going to be breaking my fast with. Um, it isn't the most highest, fattiest type of um, meal that I would like to have, but the bread is high in fat, the avocado is high in fat, and the chicken provides natural fats. Um, this is my protein intake. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to consume this meal because I am a lot day hungry. I don't really need cutlery. That's how we do in the West. We don't need cutlery rubber. Right. I'm just gonna grab this chicken wing. Mm. It was so good, honestly, to have eaten. Oh man, like, oh, it literally has been since Sunday. It's been almost like literally four days. It's been four days since I almost four days since I've eaten anything, and uh, it felt good. That charcoal chicken, like I'm still salivating over that man, but I am really, really full. Um, something that I really don't, um, that I tend to forget, and something that you guys will also probably will relate to, or you can relate to, is you know the lighter that you get, literally, like your stomach shrinks, and it's crazy because like I don't account for that. With that being said, guys, I. Do encourage everyone to get out there and try fast. Um, it doesn't have to be three days, like I said before. Start off with like a 12 hour fast. Please consult with a GP or doctor if you have any existing medical conditions. But if you're all good, all goody, 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 and you, you know, you feel like you can do it, do it then, okay? Do it then. So let me tell you guys, okay, so the weight, update so at the beginning of day one i weighed in 120.8 kilos so on day two most of that was dropped because it was most of it was water weight so i dropped down to 118.7 then yesterday i dropped down to 117.2 and this morning i weighed in at around 116.2 
oh sorry 116.3 so the, that, that is a significant weight loss I was working at the same time um, I like 10 hour shifts eight hour shifts um, I work in hospitality so I'm always on my feet walking around we're just gonna wrap this video up here because I got to go if you guys have any, 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 like literally any questions about fasting, feel free to DM me on Instagram or you can literally comment down in the comment section below. Like I will answer it. I, I'm always here. Okay, I have so much time in the world now. Now I do. <laughs> if you guys like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you guys like what you see and you want to see new videos every week and mostly on Tuesdays, if you guys like seeing that, consider becoming a subscriber today. Become a part of the Ling Ling Squad. Woo! Okay, and uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, like always, you guys stay safe, stay tuned, and stay Gucci, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.